Computing is getting embedded in every person, place, and thing. Every walk of life, in our homes, in our cars, at our work, in our stadiums, in our entertainment centers, every industry, from precision agriculture to precision medicine, from autonomous cars to autonomous drones, from personalized retail to personalized banking, are all being transformed. We have the responsibility to ensure that these, these technologies are empowering everyone. These technologies are creating equitable growth by ensuring that every industry is able to grow and create employment. We need to develop a set of principles that guide the choices we make, because the choices we make is what's going to define the future. We need to ask ourselves not only what computers can do, but what computers should do. That time has come. We formed an ethics board inside the company, which is a very diverse group of people who govern the products we build, the projects we engage in. We have to go from sort of talking about AI being in the hands of a few companies to be in a place where AI is everywhere. It's in the hands of every developer and every organization. That's the next real shift. I'm really pleased to close this keynote by announcing AI for accessibility. This is a grant program that we are creating so that we can give grants to researchers, NGOs, developers, give them support, platform technologies, so that you can bring your ingenuity and passion to help the one plus billion people in this world who have disabilities. We share a vision that uh, there'll be many successful intelligent agents working together to provide customers a more helpful experience. Now, we all know it's early days, but uh, I'm very excited to show the progress. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. I've added milk to your shopping list. Alexa, open Cortana. Cortana here. How can I help? How's my day? I'll take a look. I see two events for today. What else can I help you with? What do you think about Cortana? <laughs> I like Cortana. We both have experience with light rings, although hers is more of a halo. Is there anything else? Dave, 
Do you know if we'll have enough of the Yanzi multi-sensors to update the showcase floor? Actually, I have some concerns about the location of those sensors. Take a look at the transcript behind me on the left. Even though we were all speaking over each other and the sound environment here is actually pretty challenging, the AI services coupled with the audio and video signals from the device could still accurately identify who was speaking and when. You'll also notice that it picked up our meeting items and listed them on the right. I'm deaf and I work with a sign language interpreter. The transcript doesn't eliminate the need for my interpreter, but it lets me give my full attention without having to worry about note taking. This makes it a lot easier for me to bring my engineering knowledge to the table and participate in the discussion. I love getting the meeting notes at the end too. So I'm gonna switch devices. Now I'm gonna connect my device to the screen and share my view. Now let's take the hologram that I'm looking at and place it directly onto the meeting room table. In this way, everyone can get a sense of what I am seeing without having us all to wear hololenses. I've also asked my colleague Tal to join the meeting. Hey Tal, now I can see Tal's avatar looking around the data just as if she was in the room with us. 